Good morning guys, I'm Dave Kaufman. These are my fishing adventures where we are right now with southern Minnesota. It is blistery cold out here. It's maybe five below. Wind is about 20 to 30 miles an hour, which just literally cuts through you no matter how many layers you got on. I'm with my buddy Dallas here. We're setting up the clam. And this lake is known for its pike and that's why we drove a couple hours down here. But man, it is maybe five below zero out here. It is miserably cold, but that's not gonna stop us from getting some of these pike out here. So the plan is we're gonna set up a couple of tip ups in the clam and around the clam. We're fishing at about maybe seven, eight feet of water out here. This is not a deep lake at all. We're gonna finish setting up and we are gonna get to fishing. So oh, we uh, are setting up the clam in here. Still bitterly cold even out of this wind, but all right, so what's the plan? We're gonna dig a couple of holes couple here. Holes in here. We'll, we'll set up a line each on a pole. Uh, probably do a sucker minnow, try to get a pike on a pole. Yep. And then just out over here, we're gonna do some tip ups. We'll do one shiner, one sucker minnow and see what, what they're hitting on. Yep, yep. And then go from there. <laughs> All right, so this tip up right here, we've got a, what did you say we got on there? Large fat head. Large fat small, head. Two inch, three inch uh, with a smaller hook so that we can maybe maybe hit a bass, a large mouth bass. There's a bunch of them in here. That'd be cool. And then we'll set up a couple of sucker minnows and shining. All right, so we're gonna set up this rod here with a big old sucker. We're gonna send that down and we're gonna see if our decision to fish at five feet pays dividends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, he's on, he's on. We sent that right down. It didn't even go down and something hit. Oh yeah, here we go. Got him? Oh, he's on there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I want to do is catch one on the rod. Man, I'm telling you, we literally haven't been here for five minutes and already we got a hit. He wasn't even at the bottom of the ice and he took it out of my hand as I was setting it, setting it down. Oh, he's a nice pike. Here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Oh, that is a nice pike. Oh, get his head up. Come on. Here we go. Let him run a little bit. That is a nice pike. Look at that. Oh, nice northern. Nice northern. Here he comes. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, see. Oh, that's a nice fish. Look at that. Perfectly hooked right in the corner of the lip. That's where you want him. But here, I'll, uh, I'll do the assist here for you. What's, what do we got on that one? 27. 27. Oh, not too shabby. Up. Well, we might as well drill some holes. Yeah, this is hot, man. That's awesome, man. All right, I got a couple of photos. You want to do the yeah. honors of the release? Man, that is a nice big southern Minnesota Looks northern. Like hit the bottom a little bit. Woo! There he goes. That's fantastic. All right, seriously, these guys are hitting as soon as it goes down. We got another fish here. Oh, he's making a run. So what I want to do is I want to, he's going to grab that bait fish mid body, work it around to swallow it head first. And while he's got that bait fish in his mouth sideways, if you set that hook, you rip it right out of his mouth. So you got to wait until he pivots it around and then makes a run with it. And that's when to set the hook. Yep. There we go. There we go. He's on. He's on. There we go. Now we've got some success. Oh, he's a nice one too. Oh yeah, nice, it's making a little run here, here it comes, oh it's bigger than the last one, it's a nice northern, there we go, here we go, here he comes, oh he's nice, he's really nice, oh yeah, <laughs> Woo! man after all of that, we finally land a nice northern here take a look at that that is a nice big southern minnesota northern man man these guys are pretty fish Woo! all right so this tip up just went he's still there there he is there he is he's taking it he's there i'm just i'm gonna 
Oh, I got Is there? It. Yeah. Oh, he feels nice. Oh, nice. Oh, she's a fun one. Oh. Oh, nice one. Nice pike. You got him? Yep. There we go. Ooh. That's a nice That's little a beautiful pike. Fish. Man. Look at these southern Minnesota pike though. They have, I don't know, I mean that one at least has fewer spots than the ones I see up north. I don't know, maybe I'm making that up, but that's a nice pike, dude. Nice southern Minnesota pike. Man, we did not have to wait long for these guys at all. Yep. All right, down the hole. All right. Awesome, man. Literally, we haven't been here for 10 minutes. Nope. That rocks. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's a really good sign, man. I gotta say, I was a little bit weary about that <laughs> five foot depth, but man, first 10 minutes, there's been some action here. That's great. I'm not kidding, guys. We have been here for 45 minutes. We've hooked a lot of fish. We've landed three really nice northerns. You know, most people ignore these southern Minnesota lakes and they are really missing out. There is some really hot pike action going down here. Again, on these small little southern Minnesota farm lakes. Man, it is really windy out here, but look at this. There is no one out on that portion of the lake. We've got one guy out here. We've got Dallas's dad that just came out here. We've got a couple of people out there fishing right there. But very few people know about these little secret farm lakes here in Southern Minnesota. And man, this is where the hot fishing action is. All right, so I'm having camera malfunctions. It's so cold out here, the GoPro is freezing. Dallas just got a really nice one. Look at that one. I think that might be the biggest of the day. Man, this is insane. We've got pike hitting over there. Pike over here, look at this. Just as I'm saying it. He's there. Man, temperature probably dropped 10 degrees. It is way below zero out here. Well, I I but man, him. these pike are just hitting. Yeah, he's on. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, nice. Where's Beauty. Right here. Measuring. That's he too looks smart. smart. Look at that, he's got a bite mark right there. Yeah, that's way too short. Yeah, it's only 20. Look at that. And he's hooked perfectly right on the edge of the mouth. Look at that. Boink. Hey, guy. All Get right. We're going to put him back down. Man, so don't freeze. it is so cold. My cameras are freezing. But man, these pike are just one after another. There he goes down the hole. That's fantastic. <laughs> Woo! That wind is picked up. That wind is picked up. It cuts right through you. Look at these, look at these drifts coming off this lake. Holy crap. <sighs> Woo! Back in. Oh man. <sighs> it's gotten worse. I, I bet you the temperature's dropped 10 degrees since we've been here. But man, these pike are on fire. And so, I don't know, I'm staying out here if you are. <laughs> uh, Woo! Holy crap. Oh, so look at that. My hands are just <laughs> instantly, I'm gonna get frostbite, dude. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping now. So that was really cool. Dallas's dad just caught a big northern on a hot dog. Man, these winter northerns will hit on anything. So we are getting them on sucker minnows, shiners, fathead minnows, and now a hot dog. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of fishing for northerns with hot dogs, but here in Southern Minnesota, it's a thing. All right, we got another one here. Actually, Dallas saw this one hit. We're so shallow we can see down there. Let me tighten this drag a little bit. And one, two, three, there he is, he's on. Oh, he's running. Oh, this is a nice pike. This is a nice pike. Come on. Oh, here he is, here he is, here he is. Oh, dang it. Oh, look at that. Oh, and just perfectly hooked in the corner of the mouth. That was a perfect hook set. Look at that, perfectly hooked. Stop biting. Stop, stop, stop biting. Look at that, that is another nice southern minnesota farm northern we're gonna get him right back in the water here all right down you go buddy 
Man, that was cool. So you actually saw that one hit. Yeah, I looked down the tail swimming in the hole. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> epic. Man, this is the hot hole. We've got two tip-ups out there doing nothing. We got a tip-up over here doing nothing. This is the hot hole right here. Woo! Man, that's epic. That is just epic. What I didn't bring was a towel. And uh, let me tell you, man, snow pants aren't that absorbent. I gotta say, it's been a long time since I've had action like this on a frozen lake, man. That is just insane. I mean, it's just one right after another. And they're all right within that kind of 20 to 27 inch range. Yep. No giants, but man, when you're catching this many, you don't need a giant. I guess you always need a giant, right? But <laughs> one nice giant. Would one be nice good. giant would be nice, but man, this certainly is quantity over quality for sure. Man, it is blustery windy out there. That wind has picked up. That temperature has dropped. It's supposed to be 30 out there. It's probably, I don't know, negative 10, I would bet. It's going to be 30 later on tonight, but man, it is getting really, really brutal out there. But you know, that bite was super hot this morning and within the last hour or so it's kind of turned off here but man i'll tell you these southern minnesota farm lakes these are the best kept secret for northerns man it has been a long time since i have had this kind of northern action through the ice this was absolutely incredible so we are going to wrap it up here from here we're going to another lake about maybe an hour away and we are going to target some yellow bass for the afternoon bites that is going to be in next week's video so guys as always thanks for watching and until the next fishing adventures fish the planet and rattle on.